and back on the channel with another video and today we're gonna do quite an interesting one because we got Android 14 based on One UI 6.0 on this Galaxy A52s and it's gonna be interesting because we got also Galaxy A52 which at the moment did not receive this new update so today I'm gonna choose the five of the new features that are integrated with this new Android 14 on Galaxy A52s and we're gonna compare those with A52 which at the moment remain quite the same and we're just gonna start with the first feature which is the new quick setting menu and if we drag this menu from both devices now you can see it a bit better let's put it close and uh, yeah this new quick uh, setting menu is being uh, divided in uh, sections as you can see right here it's more spacious than it's been uh, before if you're looking on a52 i like that uh, wi-fi it separate from the other ones also bluetooth the brightness and we got this smart and device control which we don't have these uh, separated options on Galaxy A52. Also I like that the brightness slider now uh, appears even after one swipe down. So if you swipe down once, as you can see on A52s, this uh, brightness slider appears so you can change the brightness uh, quite quickly. Uh, and on A52 you just have to slide one more time down so you can change the settings of the brightness on your device. Also, let's swipe one more time uh, down. You got the dark mode right here so with one simple uh, touch you got access to this uh, dark mode. Let's uh, change it again. Let's see. Settings and yeah, it's working quite nice and here you just have to look for it see where is it dark mode yeah you just have to look for it or change the tiles so you can select the dark mode but i quite like this um, shortcut of dark mode right on the main menu also if you tap on this uh, pencil icon on each device let's see here you have to tap here and edit buttons well i don't like that let's go back here see what else we got now here edit quick panel layout let's see not here and status bar not here well it's a bit more complicated but if you tap this pencil icon to edit the quick settings um, arrangements you also find the neat quick access options where you can swipe down only once so you can bring uh, directly this uh, quick setting menu on your device and tap on this one select and let's go back back and only swipe once and you got access to the full menu and uh, let's see what we can do here pretty much tap once no and one more time which on this one yeah you just have to tap once and you got access to the full quick menu another cool feature would be on the weather app which is now richer and is now all blue if you scroll down you're gonna find out that it doesn't change the color and remains all blue if you swipe on Galaxy 52 you can see it changed the color from blue and becomes white so instead of the previous style this blue it switched to a white color after you scroll down past the first screen also now you go to larger sections and uh, these sections are for the sunrise and the moon phase as you can see right here we got the moon and if you scroll on A52 we don't have these uh, options to appear on the menu so uh, for me quite looks a bit better on this uh, weather app and uh, why not 
try it on your device. Now speaking about uh, small but cool new features, you get a new animated waveform animation while you play music and this indeed looks really cool on your device. So we got the same Samsung uh, app music right here and let's say we play this song, we place it on the background, swipe it down and we got this uh, nice animation, a waveform as you can see right here. Also let's say we play this one on A52, place it on the background, swipe it down and looks quite simple. So uh, doesn't look quite nice or interesting, but look at this one, looks quite cool indeed. If you have to compare these two, yeah, you definitely would choose uh, the one from A52S and indeed looks quite cool. And now moving from that quick settings menu, the weather app and the music app, let's go a bit actually into the main menu, the settings, because Samsung used to have the battery page into the battery and device care menu. If you scroll on A52, look for battery and device care, but now it's bringing the battery with a new page. Now we got the battery, which has got the own page into the settings. So if you use to tap a few times to access it, now you just have to tap once and you got access to the battery. Let's tap one more time here and finally we got pretty much on the same page. So this would be one of the main differences. We got the battery page into the settings. You just have to tap once. And on the other side, just have to go on battery and battery one more time. And pretty much you got uh, same settings. Look, protect the battery, protect the battery, power saving and so on. So yeah, I quite like this uh, feature that has been integrated now into the main settings and also remaining on the settings menu we got quite a new cool feature and this is called new auto blocker and you can find this feature under the security and privacy menu into the settings and let's go on a52s as you can see right here let's go also on a52 we got now two suggestions just because I didn't sign in into these both devices with my Samsung account. So that's the reason I got two suggestions. But going over, you can see on A52S now auto blocker. Let's type on this one. It's already on because I put it on. But if you're looking on A52, you're not gonna find this. So if you're gonna switch this auto blocker on your A52S, this is gonna bring more security into your device, such as uh, blocks up from unauthorized stores. Only apps from authorized stores can be installed. Turn on app security checks, blocks commands by USB cable, so malicious chargers, computers, and other devices won't be able to send the commands to your phone when connected using a USB cable. Also you got protection on messaging app and also can block software updates by USB cable. So this one is gonna prevent installation of system software using a USB cable. So I find this auto blocker quite useful on this A52S would be great to have it on A52, but also we got enough uh, security on A52, but this one I would say it's an extra one, a better one, and I do also prefer to have it on A52S indeed. So these are only a few features that now you have it on A52S. There are even more features, I'm gonna put it uh, right here on the screen, and uh, all you have to do is just to explore those if you got an A52S uh, this moment. But remember, this update has been uh, just released in some European countries, so you may have to wait uh, for a while to receive this uh, new update. Also for A52, well, we just have to just scroll down and check for the updates to see if we're gonna receive this but at the moment it's nothing yet. 
all we have to do is just wait but uh, having this new update on A52S it's great I like it we're just gonna explore more and more and if you want to know anything as please let me know into the comments also if you want to read you let's say a new test between these two devices like a speed test camera test after more than two and a half years since they've been released also please let me know into the comments